Welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel Bachelor and Master English. Today we are talking about a South African short story drought. It is a short story by Jane Ravi, South African writer and novelist. Uh, in today's discussion we shall be talking about the story at a glance, uh, summarizing, analyzing and discussing. Okay, I am sure you will accompany me till the end of this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and if you think this video is worth watching, please don't forget to subscribe, share and comment and let others know about it. Uh, let's go. Uh, here is a story at a glance. The title of the story is uh, Drought. It's a story by Jen Rabbi. It's a country where the story was written is South Africa and the story was published in 1956. Uh, this is uh, as it is a story, the genre is just the short story here. Uh, it's very short and the subgenre is it is parable uh, here. Uh, and the theme of the story is the fundamental value of love or charity which contains and supersets the value of truth, beauty and goodness and reconciles the tension between absolutism and relativism. Uh, this is the theme of this story and the characters in the story are none other than black men and white men. This is a representative character, a typical character here. And the conclusion of the story is mutual cooperation and independence. Okay, uh, here is a summary of the story. Let's go with it. Uh, Drought addresses the disastrous relationship between blacks and whites in South Africa. This is a compelling parable that shows uh, the connection between the blacks and whites in South Africa. Uh, it tries to show the ruining results of a political system used in South Africa in which uh, people of different races are kept apart by law. The story presents a pitiful state of our earth due to the drought. Uh, the grounds are full of dust whereas the dry grass wet eagerly for the rain. Uh, the whole plain lands are thirsty for green love which only the rain can quench the land. Black man and a white man are about to build a house. The black man carries the blocks of stones which the white man lays in place, telling the black man of having capacity of bearing the sunlight. The white man stands in the shade of the wall, where the black man walks in the sun. Hearing this comment of the white man, the black man laughs and proudly looks at his muscles shining in the sun. His ancestors had ripped uh, the dark harvest with their pointed weapons and thrust out the fever of black sun uh, in their limbs uh, with the traditional drum dance. Frowning the axe, the white man, why he was always after his black skin. The white man tells him that the black man was cursed by God to have a black skin. He further argues on telling uh, the black how uh, his forefathers first came to the backward co up cultivated land and tried to develop it and taught the black how to live in peace with them. But the black was proud of his dark skin and told the white man how their ancestors had dipped their spears in the blood of the white man's forefathers and noticed that their blood was as red as the blood of Impala. Then they remained each other uh, that both of their ancestors were dead and they were alone there in the dry and empty plain. When they have completed the four walls saying no doors and windows, white men ask why it was so. White men sadly answers that previously his ancestors used to build watertight wall to keep out uh, the sea and uh, he was doing the same. When remained 
uh, that there was no sea ground white man sadly thinks of black man as the sea then they lay roof on the house what man is shut inside without light and uh, they not being able to see the sky not knowing when it was day or night the black man was left outside alone frightened and hammers with his fist on the house calling white man to come out to him and if there is no water uh, around and it is drought let's d- make a discussion with the story in nepali khareri यो खडेरी कथा दक्षिण अफ्रिकी लेखक जेन रैबी को एटा चर्चित कथा हो यो कथा मैं अगिलो ए कविता जो वेर द रैन ब एंड्स जहाँ इंद्रधनुष अलप होने कविता जे जेन रैबी को कविता संग संगसंगे जोड़ी रहूँ क्यों भादा खेल ये दुबई क कथा या कविता दुबई साहित्यिक कृति दक्षिण अफ्रिकी मूलुक का हु दक्षिण अफ्रिका भाई देश का विभिन्न साहित्यकार ने लेख का रचना इसको दुबई को प्रसंग के भादा खेल संबंध को खड़ेरी संबंध को खड़ेरी को अब काला रोरा को बीच में द्वंद्व होने रक्ल अर् हेप्ने एक्ल अर्क आपू भाग ठूल ठाने रक्ल अर्क अब सान ठाने हेप्ने होच्याने गाली करने अपमान करने दुर्वचन बोलने र उस अस्तित्व नहीं प्रश्न चिन्ह खड़ा करने खाले जो मन को धारणा छो धारणा मत कवि अथवा लेखक ने यहाँ बेंगी हाँ थाले जब दुईजना पात्र कालो रोरो गोरे काले इनर को बीच में पैला पैतृक पितृर को काल देखि नहीं बीच में द्वंद चल रहा है जब गोरा को पुर्खा काला को पुर्खा तस्ते खाल व्यवहार करते काला खाले अपमान सहन पर्ने अवस्था थी ती अपमान सहन रही गोरा दुर्वचन अपमान यहाँ कव कथा में कथाकार जैन रैबी ने तेरी दुईटा जात को मानी को जो अवस्था देखि तैं उ बीच में मेलमिलाप न एक्ल अर् हेप्ने एक्ल अर् होच्याने अभी पीछे दुईटा को बीच में जो खाल सौहार्द संबंध होने पर्ने थो संबंध होना सक सकेन रहा के भाई संबंध को खड़ेरी आए संबंध को खड़ेरी चाहिए कथा एट रंगभेद तथा तो काला गो गोरा बीच को संबंध ने चर्चा पा यहाँ कथाकार जैन रैबी ने अलग को समय में काला रोरा को बीच में मानवीय संबंध हो अत्यावश्यक भो दर्शा जातीय विविधता धार्मिक रस्कृतिक कुरा ये विविध विविधता अब स्वाभाविक हु तर विविधता एकता को सुंदरता को तेस को पूंजी को रूप में वििकस कर पर्ने में मानी भेदभाव करें आपको स्वाथ लुटन प्रयोग करो भर यह रंगभेद नीति काला रोरा बीच को संबंध ये जो संबंध में आगे खड़ेरी तो लेखक ने बड़ी चाशो देखे देखि सुक्खा लगे जमीन तथा घास हरियाली होना का लगी पानी को आश कर पानी नपरे सामान्य जनजीवन असामान्य अवस्था में परिणत भग काला गोरा जाति को बीच में सुमधुर संबंध विकसित होना सकते छेन पिता पुर्खादी काला रोरा बीच में रहोक विभेद में सुधार होना सकते छेन गोरा काला होच्याने प्रचलन अद्यावधि विद्यमान है काला और गोरासंग त्रसित होने अवस्थ अज भी सकते छेन इस कथा में एवं गोरो रो केटो मिले घर बना कालो का गोरो ने गोरे भिमी बाहर बसर मटो रुंगा लिया मैं अब यहाँ मिला म खटन मिला भू घाम में देखा नपरिकन घर बना जहाँ कुछ झाल भी राख्तेन ढोका भी राख्तेन ते तो घर में झाल और ढोका को परिकल्पना कर भटाबड़ गा चिं गा को चार चाल चलन देखि कालो छक्क पर्च सब गा पूरे बनाई सके के गा हो कस्ट खाल गा बना कालो को पोच बाफूला अलग राख राखने ठाव में काल कोठरी जस्तु घर बना तैं न हावा जान न अब दिन रात था तस्त उसे आपूला काला बच्चा तो कोठा भी आपूला थुन हई अभी अब सायद रात दिन था नईकन ऊ ते मर कथा कि कालो ने बाहर निस्क मि बसौ न भर आग्रह तर यह बेकार होती तिमी रिलाऊ 
कालो ले जाएं बाहर बोला है पनी तो गोरे जाएं बाहर आमने सामने ना कि न मने उसको जाएं यो काला आरु प्रति को जाएं योरा पहला देखने तक दृष्टि कौन सा नहीं पूर्वाग्रही सोच तो पूर्वाग्रही सोच का कारण ले उसले जाएं तो संग मिलना चाहते ना अन्य उन औरो को ता था सेना त्याग खेरे रे बांसुनु पर ऐसा यही फल को चीज खाना खाए रे बांधन पर ऐसा भाने बजी जो सरी जाएं पृथ्वी में अब पानी न पर रहती हरियाली गांस और जाएं गांस हरियाल जाएं उन्हें को लगी जाएं पानी को आस कर ऐसा माना भी ये संबंध और उपनी ये सरी चिश्चिया रे जाना खेरी माना भी ये संबंध में बनी खड़ेरी पड़ने अब ये वाला भाईचारा को संबंध स्वतंत्रता समानता खुशी को खुजी भाईचारा को संबंध अने मित्रता सहिष्णुता इस तरह विविध कुरान रोज़ यहाँ ले मानचोले अपेक्षा करें ऐसा समानता रा स्वतंत्रता भाईचारा फ्रांसीली राज्य क्रांति ले पनी खोजा चाहे दक्षिण अफ्रीका हो चाहे पूर्वी चाहे नेपाल हो चाहे अमेरिका � बहुत जाति, भाषिक, सांस्कृतिक सब पे वड़ा रंग ले तो देश को सुंदरता, तो देश को वड़ा तो ये बही बाप देखाऊं सा। वो रहा ले काला ले हेप नहीं, अन्य एक ले आर कला अपमान करने, एक ले आर कला ये बहिष्कार करने, एक ले आर कला ये तिरस्कार करने, ये कार को सां मिले रहे, ना बसने मिले रहे, ना खाने ये � तीसरे जाएं अब काला और ली जतिशु की खोज गरे पनी त्यां मिलना चाहते हैं त्यो जेंडर भी को कविता वेर द रेन भी इंस में पनी त्यां त्यां वड़ा कालो ले त्यां मुश्तलाई वड़ा गोरा लाई त्यां उल्ले आग्रह गरी रहा सुन तीमीर में गीत गाऊं मेल मिलाप को गीत गाऊं साथी त्यो गीत को संगीत अली � मेल मिलाप को गीत गाऊं मंचा वो तू मेल मिलाप को गीत गाऊं ना उल्लेज जाए त्यां गोरा लेते हो मानना खुजिया से ना उसले त्यां पनी संबंध को खड़े री जाए उगर ना खुजिया सा तर कालू ले जाए संबंध मत जाए वड़ा तादात में तल्यावनी दुई चा मिले रा बसों मिले रा गीत गाऊं मिले रा रोनामाऊं � आये बट ड्रीम तो जोन भाषण सा तो भाषण में पनी गोरा रा काला आरु को बीच में जोन संबंध ते हैं उन्हों पर नहीं वो उल्लेख हैं त्यों संबंध को करा कर सा काला रा गोरा आरु बीच जाएं जब जाएं एक ही ढाव में बसे रखा नहीं बाता उन्हें एकले आर कला जाएं सम्मान करने बाता उन्हें एकले आर कला � जब एक जब एक ले आर कला मानव बने रहते हैं उड़ा रहते हैं सम्मान करना सकते हैं ना मानव ये नाता लेते हैं उल्लेख हैरन सकते हैं ना और मानव ये तरीका ले बेबार करना थाल से और जाती है उत्पीड़न करना थाल से अथवा चाहे रंग भेद चाहे नीति अबलावन अबलामन करना थाल से बने त्यां संबंध माचाहे सुधा� हमें लग जाएं बार बार हो यो यहाँ से तीमिले जाल रखने पर नहीं यहाँ डोका रखने पर नहीं तो तीमी रहना खोजे ना यो तीमी यो जून खाल को परखाल लगाया रहता है तेरे परखाल भीतर आप हो जाएं आप लग जाएं थुन्ना खोजो तीसरे कर दाखिल तीमरो आप नो जाएं उड़ा दूर दृष्टि को अबाब ले कर दाखिल ती को चाहिए अंते भारी बरसा होने पर है भारी बरसा बने को क्यों चेतना में क्रांति आने पर हो मानवीय सोच में क्रांति आने पर हो मानवता के मानवता वादी सोच में क्रांति आने पर हो जब तीमी योपनी मानिसों मोपनी मानिसों मने जब तीमी आऊं देनो तेज बेला सम्मा तीमरो रो मेरो तीम संबंध को बीच में खड़ेरी होन्चा � इसलिए वड़ा कष्टों बंदा करी आध्यात्मिक खड़ेरी यो आध्यात्मिक खड़ेरी जाएं ऐसे रीते खोज रहा से आध्यात्मिक खड़ेरी उन्हें बहुत नहीं है 
कस्तु होने पर तो बंद करी यार ना करी बाहरी संसारिक खड़ेरी देखिए पनी यह आध्यात्मिक खड़ेरी यो आध्यात्मिक खड़ेरी अंत्य करने को लगी मान चले मानवता बाजी सोच बोलने पर चाहे रंगों वेद नीति लाई जाएंगे अंत्य करने पर चाहे अनि स्वतंत्रता समानता रा भाईचारा लाई जाएं संसारिक मित्रता को सूत्र बनाने पर चाहे ओके डेट्स ऑल विथ दिस स्टोरी ड्रॉट बाय जेन रैबी नाउ लेट्स गो विथ द एनालिसिस ड्रॉट by Jan Ravi's one of short stories in Ravi's and 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 twenty one published in nineteen fifty six a book that was to herald the movement of uh, tigers those of sixties in Afrikaans prose. The title indicates that there are twenty stories in the book. Uh, it uh, also suggests the author's coming of age. The book was published after a lengthy stay uh, of the author in Paris. The story draught is about a white man and a black man building house together. The white man remains inside the house while the black man has to do uh, the hard work and endure the heat outside. The house is built without windows and doors so that ultimately the white man is locked up inside. And the black man is left outside, lonely and anxious. I want to briefly analyze the concepts of beauty, uh, truth and goodness as expressed and implied in the story. In my analysis, I cannot claim to have find the objective existence of truth, beauty and goodness in the story. These values are found in my subjective involvement within with the text. Uh, but I hope that there is something intersubjective in my involvement and that my discoveries will at least partly be shared by the readers to this uh, text and uh, that together we might discover create meaning that you know, meaning and truth in our involvement with the text with one another. The physical drought in the story is uh, lack of water but the story also implies a kind of spiritual drought. Here we go with the discussion of different questions. Uh, now, here is a question. What is the black man's perception of the white man in the story? Give examples from the story that illustrate this. The white man thinks that the black man is proud of his dry skin that helps him bear the sun better. Angrily, the black man wants to know the reason of talking uh, is black skin. In reply, of this, the white man explains that because of the curse of Godfather, race has dark skin. The black man replies that they like white and so on and fear of the dark. He also denies that God is white. Thus, the white man is superior and prejudiced towards the black man. And this is his first question. Now, this another question here for discussion is the physical drought of the story is lack of water. But the story also implies a kind of spiritual drought. Explain what is lacking in one or both. So we talk about uh, spiritual and physical uh, drought. The spiritual drought is more important in this parable. We cannot find uh, the good understanding between the black man and white man. With the help of the black man, the white man makes house and lives himself inside, leaving the black always outside of it. But the black man asks him to come out and be united together with the white man, never, but white man never accepts. He may want to die in the dark. Moreover, the white man always dominates the black man while talking about something. So always he sounds dominant and uh, the black man does not like it. But uh, he is a to he is a tolerant, more tolerant than the white man. Uh, he tries to have good relationship with the white man. He tries to understand the situation, but the white doesn't like to come in contact and try to be together. The problem is that he shows his uh, racial superiority and racial hegemony. Okay, and what did the white man not uh, explain about black man being the sea? The white man did not explain that sea or water mean. I mean black man because he thought it indirectly. 
how are people saved by their ancestors uh, these black and white people both the black men and the white men are direct result of their ancestral uh, difference but uh, both are proud of their ancestors however the white man does not treat the black equally he does so as he learned from his family and because he has inherited this and the next question here in your opinion what aspects of the past should be remembered what aspects of the past should be forgotten in my opinion uh, the principles of universal brotherhood universal and we have to have universal love of mankind and it should be remembered and racial segregation of any kind should be forgotten at once uh, then uh, what do you what do the dry landscape of white men and a black man their building of walls suggest? what's the symbolic the dry landscape of white men and a black man their building to wall of walls suggest. the dry landscape suggests that everywhere water is necessary for the greenness and production of grass trees and many other things the white men and the black men suggest their grains of sands and that they want to germinate. The building of walls uh, made by them suggests that they want to isolate from one another. Um, all these so that there is full of racial discrimination, hate and narrow feeling. In reality, we need mutual cooperation, love and independence. Mutual cooperation, love and independence are a must. Why is the black man only as the laborer in building the wall? What kind of justification does the white man invoke? Black man is only uh, just uh, carrying the stone and mud, but uh, he is not involved in uh, constructing the wall. But here a white man is involved. And what does it invoke? By carrying blocks of stone, the black man works as a laborer working outside. The white man invokes the justification that as his skin is black, uh, he can stand the sun uh, better than the white man. And the last question for discussion here is, what uh, more do you learn from this parable? Uh, in course of their debate, the white man further justifies his actions saying uh, that Africa was a vast barbaric land before his arrival. Uh, this was made civilized only after the white man's intervention. The black man refutes it by saying the history of his African ancestors, their nobility and refutes it by saying the history of his African ancestors, uh, their nobility and their belief in law, equality and justice. The black man also refuses the white man's claim of being the god uh, well, uh, white and he cursed the black man. He agrees to make a house for the white uh, that the doerless house suggests that uh, the sad state created by white men in South Africa. Uh, they have closed themselves, these people, uh, by you know excluding these black people, these white people have you know trapped themselves. They have trapped in such a situation vision that they would not escape. So, this also suggests the isolation between the black man and white man where there will be a lack of communication between the two and finally it will become the tomb of the white. The conclusion of the problem is mutual cooperation and interdependence. Unless and until the white men call the both themselves and the spiritual drought will not be solved okay that's all with the discussion of the drought story by jen rabbit i'm sure all of you got the points if you have any queries you can put your ideas in my comment box and i shall be uh, pleased if you uh, subscribe my channel uh, drop a like and share this video uh, i shall be back with other interesting videos uh, till then have a nice time